the lecture that is on transmission characteristics in optical fiber. So these are the learning outcomes. At end of this session, students will be able to classify the different types of attenuations in optical signal. So now we will understand the basic of attenuation. As shown in the figure, this is the input optical pulse strain that is being transmitted through an optical fiber which is having the length L and this is an output optical pulse strain which has been obtained at the end of the optical fiber. So first we will understand what do you mean by attenuation. So why uh, there is a reduction in amplitude of the signal at the input which is being given as a, uh, to the optical fiber and the optical pulse strain at the output and there is an overlapping of this signal also. So such type of things are known as an attenuation. And this uh, is measured with respect to the distance traveled by the light rays in the optical cable. And attenuation is always uh, expressed in dB. So in this lecture, we are going to see what occurs uh, to optical pulse when they propagate through an optical fiber. So we'll start with this uh, transmission characteristics of an optical fiber. In order to understand the attenuations of the signals and the do calculation particular with the dB and dBm units are very useful. So uh, let us look at the propagation of the optical pulses through an optical fiber. So if I have my encoded data in the pulse strain that is your optical pulse strains of the sequence of zeros and one and uh, when want to send this pulse through the train through an optical fiber then at the output end of the shape of this pulse becomes very something like this. So uh, what I notice is that the, there is a reduction in the amplitude of the pulses and the power level of these pulses also goes down. At the same time the duration of the pulse also increases. So such type of uh, attenuations are known as uh, the dispersion. So when I send these pulses through the optical fiber the pulse becomes very uh, like this. Okay. Uh, so then I have to pay attention that I have to take care that this pulse do not overlap here. Over <coughs> lab. Also the power level of the pulses should remain same such as the level that the optical detector should be able to detect them otherwise I will lose the information. So before uh, these pulses are overlapped or their power levels goes down uh, behind certain limit I will have to reshape this pulse. I will have to uh, bring them to the original form and this is done the device is known as an repeaters. So in the communication link uh, you send the pulses through an optical fiber and then to the certain distance you will have to uh, reshape the pulses and bring them to the original form and then you again send it to the next segment or then to the next segment and so on. If the L is a repeater less than the link then the uh, repeater less length of the link for the given data rate depends on the two things. One, one is how much the pulse have been attenuated and what is the spread of these pulses, what is the broadening of these pulses so that they do not overlap. So overlapping and the reduction in the amplitude is known as the attenuation. So now uh, we'll see the next how the attenuation has been calculated. So the attenuation is being calculated uh, through the uh, loss coefficient and the in dB if you want to calculate that is loss uh, dB that is log to the base P in upon P out. This is the power input whatever the pulse you are going to give uh, and this is the length of uh, optical fiber and this is the P out how much the power is received at the optical power at the output. If you want to calculate the loss coefficient that is alpha uh, of length L so that is 10 divided by L log to the P in upon P out where the L is in kilometers. So uh, what is the attenuation is that the power at the input end which I have sent through the optical fiber if it is P in the power that I have received through the output end is the P out. P out. And then if I define the loss of the link uh, link losses of the fiber through length L in dB uh, uh, 10 times the log to the base 10 P in over the P out. So this is the loss in dB through L length of an optical fiber. If it is an often convenient to represent the loss in terms of loss coefficient which is the loss in dB per kilometer length of the fiber. So I divide this uh, thing by the length L and I get the loss coefficient alpha that is this uh, in dB per kilometers where L is in kilometers. 
so uh, now just recall what will be the effect of attenuations on single mode fiber and the multi mode fiber so now we'll see the different types of attenuations uh, mechanism uh, that is the material absorptions scattering bending losses and dispersion so these are the major four losses occurs when you are going to send the data through p in and p out so the material absorption is due to the eccentric and eccentric materials and the scattering are of again two types that is the linear and non linear so bending loss are again the micro bends and the micro bends and the dispersion is nothing but that is an overlapping of two signals uh, that we have to remove okay so now let us see in this uh, lecture the details regarding according to the uh, material absorption that is eccentric and eccentric so uh, the this is uh, known as the material absorption so the absorption is a major cause of the signal loss in an optical fiber uh, the absorption is defined as the portion of attenuation uh, resulting from the conversion of an optical power into the another energy form such as heat the absorption in the optical fiber is explained by these three factors that is imperfections in the atomic structure of the fiber material the eccentric or the basic fiber material properties and third one is the eccentric that is the presence of impurities that is fiber material properties so we'll see what do you mean by the imperfections in the atomic structures of a fiber material the imperfections in the atomic structures induced by uh, absorptions by the presence of missing molecules or the oxygen defects the absorption is also induced by the diffusion of an hydrogen molecules into the glass fiber since the eccentric and eccentric materials properties are the main cause of absorptions as they were discussed uh, we are going to discuss so uh, we'll see now the material absorption uh, it is due to the vi vibration frequency of an atomic bonds in the ir region that is infrared region and it is caused due to the electronic absorptions band in the ultraviolet regions also so uh, we'll see the details now so this is the graph showing for the fiber losses due to the uh, the absorption loss the eccentric absorption is caused by the fi basic fiber material properties if an optical fibers were absolute, uh, absolutely pure with no imperfections or impurities then all absorption would be an eccentric eccentric uh, ob uh, absorption set the minimum level of the absorption in the fiber optics the pure glass uh, fibers are used uh, most of the time the silica fibers uh, are used because of their low eccentric material absorptions at the wavelength of operation so as shown in this figure the wavelength of operation ranges from 700 nanometers to 1600 nanometers uh, the figure shows the level of attenuation wavelength of operation uh, this wavelength of operation is between the two eccentric uh, absorption regions the first region is the ultraviolet region uh, this is the ultraviolet region and this is the infrared region so in the ultraviolet region it is caused due to the electronic absorptions bands basically the absorption occurs when the light particles photons interact with an electrons and which gets excited to the higher energy level so this is the tail of the ultraviolet absorption region and the main cause of the uh, eccentric absorption is in the infrared is the characteristics of vibrations frequency that is vibration frequency of an atomic bonds in the silica glass the absorption is caused due to the vibrations of silicon oxygen that is sio bonds and the eccentric between the vibrating bonds and the electromagnetic field of the optic uh, optical signal caused by the eccentric absorptions the light energy is transferred from the electromagnetic field to the bond so uh, now we will see next that is the material absorption that is an eccentric absorption the eccentric absorptions uh, is caused by the impurity introduced in the fiber materials the metal impurities such as iron nickel and chromium are introduced into the fiber during the fa fabrications the eccentric uh, absorption is caused by the electronic transitions of this me metal ions from one energy level to the another the eccentric absorptions also occurs when hydroxyl ions that is oh bonds are introduced into the fiber the water in the silica forms and this uh, silicon hydroxyl si oh bonds uh, these bonds are uh, fundamentally absorptions at uh, 2700 nanometers however the harmonics of overtones of this uh, fundamental absorption occurs in the region of operation 
as shown in this figure this is the oh absorption band at near 1000 nanometers 1200 and the 1400 this is the highest see absorption peaks uh, defines the three regions as shown now here that is window preferred now the first window is at 850 and uh, second one is at the 1300 and the uh, third one is the 1515 nanometers the fiber optic systems are operated at this wavelength is uh, defined by one of these windows so the amount of uh, water impurities present in the fiber would be less than the few parts per billion uh, that's why the fiber attenuation caused by the eccentric absorption is affected by the level of impurities OH bond present in the fibers. If the amount of impurities in the fiber is reduced, then the fiber attenuation is reduced. So these are my references. Uh, we have used the reference books such as and the John Senior. Thank you.